All right, we're back. Oh, stupid birdie found me. No matter. I said no matter. Time for a turf war. But first, let me do this. Ha ha. Benton, looks like you found one of Octavio's Vincenetti goons. You on your way to the police station for the old bait and switch? Yeah, he's following me. It's too close for comfort. You gotta move. Now to get those mercenary apes involved. Hey, uh, all you fat cops, go home. We don't need no more stupid dogs in Venezia. I think I'll just use like a super light voice just for that. <laughs> I might not be a real cop, but I got feelings, pal. You just got them. You talking to me, fruitcake? Because I don't need a thing. Eat missile, punk. This was a good plan, Bentley. Now we can just sit back and watch the fireworks. Thank you. I pride myself on deviousness these days. With her eight guard under fire, there's a 93% chance that Carmelita will arrive and take out the entire Vincenetti gang. Devious. And there she is, and we get the play as her. Inspector Fox, I'm glad to see you. This Vincenetti freak is giving me all I can handle. Stand your ground, soldier. We'll take him together. This guy's about to fall. I just wonder why is there one mercenary helping me? Why don't the others just come out? Have a full on war with these guys. So, yeah, all she has is a kick, her shock pistol. And her mega jump. Alright, let's see if I can take these guys from a distance. Don't worry, Pally. I shall call you Pinky Kong. It's getting me. Teach him not to mess with this boss. Teach it up, Inspector Fox. All right. Give it to him. Can't take much more. I am deep in the trouble. I need now. We're going back there. As you can, as you guys notice, if they're in the side of the reticle, the shots will automatically go to them. Actually, can I take them from here? First, let me take down this stupid cat. Oh, I may have to get a little closer. That cat's caught one to me. I am. Hey, calm down. I'm shooting him. Who needs to go up close when you got a gun? You just have missiles that go in an arc. Getting closer. And it's like, I'll say this, I'll just spoil. By the way, here's a little spoiler for you guys. If you don't want to hear this, you quickly fast forward, but you can. Carmelita will as actually pl actually fully playable in, um. In Sly 4. But you have to. You, you unlock her after the second chapter. And she is a good character and all. But I, the only problem is that they didn't really give her much missions to do. 
Which, is, which I think was kind of weird, because of all the times to make her... She was fully playable, yet it was kind of a wasted opportunity not to give her, like, any, like... Give her, like, a lot of missions for her to do along with the gang. Victory jump. Good work, men. For mercenaries, you fought with honor and distinction. I'm proud of you. Good thing you don't have Deadpool hired. Boom, boom. She even gets her own pose. Ever had that feeling that someone was beating you up in your sleep? This is going to be one hell of a hangover he's going to be waking up with. Alright, now it's time for a little game of Tarball. So I said you were looking for me? We need your help to destroy some tar drugs. I'm done with all that. I found a new path. It's for peacefulness. Come on, what happened to the Murray? The guy who'd get into a fist fight with ten thugs wearing nothing but a towel. The guy who used to punch first and not bother asking questions later. Where's that guy? Where's my old friend? I, I'm sorry, Bentley. I, I tried to save you, but I just wasn't strong enough. Get over it, Murray. I don't blame you and never have. The only thing I feel bad about is losing my pal. Look. I want to help you. You're like my second best friend. It's just that I promised I'd stay here and peacefully meditate till the black water ran pure. Well, what if you could help us peacefully? You wouldn't have to punch anyone. I'm in. Keep it peaceful and I'll smash up anything you'd like. As a student of the Australian Dreamtime, I'm sure you've learned of the ball form. Yeah, sure, like my first week. Excellent. Tuck into ball cord and clog that vent pipe. The pressure buildup should shoot you skyward. Maintain your ball cord and smash into the tar drums around town. Awesome. Yeah, that's totally peaceful. I'm sure my guru wouldn't mind. Yep. Press the L1 button to go into ball cord. So Mary's going to play a ball. And... Hit the X button on impact to keep your bounces high. Boom. I'm projecting some markers to help you find the tar drums. Oh shoot. I goofed. Nope, get away from you, stupid cat. Pilot to bombardier! Pilot to bombardier! <laughs> I've never heard him say that before. I think it's funny though, even though he said he was going to keep it peaceful, you can still hit other ca other enemies. And, it, and the game doesn't penalize you for it. Yeah, like I said, whether if you accidentally bounce on another enemy or just straight up punch them, it, the game doesn't penalize you. you. You can still get away with it. Yeah. Even poor Jambasan, who is still frozen, won't send me a thank you card. Also, one thing I want to note that when I was reading his, um, what happened to him, I, I said EPA, I said EPA instead of EPA. I was, I just realized that, I was like, god damn it. <laughs> really nice work, Murray. It's a pleasure to see you back in action. Yeah, well... I haven't forgotten who my friends are. I'm just playing with a different deck. And apparently it's full of spellcasters. Well, the 
Studios comeback opera recital just a few hours away. We're all set up for the main event. Get ready for Operation Tar Be Gone. Our objective, get Murray back on the team. Sly, you'll start things off by using your disguise to sneak into the opera house. Make your way down to the pump room and let me in through the side entrance. Thanks to the blueprints we stole, I now know just where to bomb to cripple the machinery. Then we'll go for Octavio's detonation switch. I'm sure you'd agree that we just can't leave a weapon that powerful in the hands of such a madman. So I'll distract the old monster with an opera duel. He's sure not to attack while we're both on stage. Meanwhile, you'll cut the lines to the chandelier and drop it on his head. I'll swipe the switch and we'll both find Murray. By then, the black water is sure to be running clear and he'll be free to come with us.